Hello everyone, this is Paxton Smith at RealTimeMath.com, your link to live online math help. And in today's video, our arithmetic series, we're going to be looking at finding the prime factorization of two numbers. Now, you might ask, why do I need to find the prime factorization? Well, this is the guaranteed way to always find the lowest common multiple. That's what LCM stands for, lowest common multiple and you're going to need this when you go on to try to add fractions or subtract fractions with different denominators and that means you'll use the LCM essentially to find the LCD of two fractions. LCD is the lowest common denominator. So what you want to do is you want to do a factor tree. This is the easiest way to do it in my opinion. So I've picked 6 and 8 as our two numbers we're going to start with here and we're going to take the number 6 here and we're just going to start breaking it into factors. Factors are two numbers that multiply together to give you six. We're going to break it into factors and we're always going to want prime numbers to be on the end. So we're not going to use one and six because six is not prime. However, we can break six into two and the other factor when multiplied by two that gives you six is three. So two times three is six and you circle them when you get prime numbers, 2 and 3 are both prime, meaning no other number besides 1 in itself can come out of it evenly. Okay, so now for 8, we're going to break that down until we get to all primes on the end as well. So, we start and we get 4 and 2, and we circle the 2, because again, 2 is prime, no other number besides 1 in itself will come out. And then we go and we see that 4 can still be broken down again. So we get 2 and 2. And 2 again is prime. So you circle all your primes. And you notice on your factor trees, the ends of your branches should all consist of prime numbers only. If there's any number that is on your end and is not prime, you need to keep going until you get all just prime numbers. Okay? So here we go for 6. We see that it's 2 times 3, and for 8, we see that it's 2 times 2 times 2. We're going to want to write that with exponents, and that's going to be 2 cubed. Okay, so go ahead and write 2 times 3 is your 6, and then over here, let's make that nice there, and then over here we're going to write 2 cubed, because that gives us 8. Alright, so I like to have you write the prime factorizations one above the other. And then here's what you do. You circle the highest power of each unique number or different number. So here we see, in that we just see the numbers 2 and 3, right? Alright, well, we have a 2 here and we have a 2 cubed. That's 2 to the third power, right? 2 times 2 times 2. So now what you're going to want to do is circle between the 2, which is really 2 to the first, and 2 cubed, you want to take 2 cubed. That's the highest power. And then next we see just 1, 3. Well, we have to take it. There's no other 3's. So we have to take that one. So you circle the highest power of each different number, in this case, 2 cubed and 3. And then you take those and you multiply them together. Bam! you've got your LCM, or lowest common multiple, which can then serve as a common denominator if you wanted to add or subtract fractions with 6 and 8 on the bottom. Okay, so now we're going to write 2 cubed times 3, and we know that 2 cubed is 8. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 times 3 gives us 24. And we see that 24 is the LCM between 6 and 8. So again, that LCM is 24. So tune in to the next video, and we're going to look at creating equivalent fractions so that we can then go on to add and subtract fractions with different denominators. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Take care. See you soon. And in the meantime, go to realtimemath.com and check out live online tutoring classes with me, Paxton Smith. Have a great day.